Catherine Meba is a multidisciplinary musician holding an ARCT performance diploma in violin, piano, and voice from the Royal Conservatory of Music. On Saturday, January 11th, she opens for the Trio Saint Laurent at the first Virtuosi concert of the new year. She has joined me in the Classic 107 studio this morning. Hey there. Hi. Welcome to Classic 107. Oh, well, thank you for having me. I, I guess I should begin by, by clarifying. Uh, you're going to open the concert by singing, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can, so can, can we talk a little bit more about that? I mean, Absolutely, yeah. most musicians concentrate on one instrument, mm -hmm. um, maybe two, and maybe, maybe complete an associate of the Royal uh, Conservatory of Toronto, uh, their, their second highest degree, um, to achieve an ARCT diploma in violin, piano, and voice. I mean, that's just, that is, that is very impressive. Thank you. Um, no, I mean, it was, um, I kind of grew up doing a lot of music and um, I st I think I started maybe with the violin and then piano and, and voice. So it, I don't know, to me, that was just kind of the, the norm. They all, they all influence each other and uh, it's, it's kind of a symbiotic relationship that you have between all of them. So um, yeah, so I was, I was fortunate to be able to study them and um, doing the exams, it was a, it was a great way to, to learn repertoire, um, to get exposure to to learning how to prepare um, a, a concert, um, so it was, yeah, it was it was it was really helpful. Um, kind of later on down the road, I can assume you just really love to practice too. Um, Is that a thing? I, I think I, it grew on me. I think that <laughs> it's it's rewarding when you when you see kind of what can happen when you practice. So I think at at first it was a, a little. Um, you know, nobody really wants to practice as a kid, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. but as you progress and your teachers encourage you, um, and, and you practice and and you you know develop and sharpen your skills, it it became more enjoyable. And um, for me, that's like the funnest part, especially with with singing. And the, far, the funnest part to me is like the rehearsals and um, just the the whole process behind the scenes before yeah. you before you perform, which is also really exciting to share that with with yeah. people. Yeah, all the all the work that you put in. Um, mm -hmm. So you grew up grew up in a musical household then. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would say so. There was always everyone was doing music. My, I have an older sister and and two younger brothers, and we all we all did the same thing. We all did the three instruments and the ARCTs, and so it was kind of the the I guess the standard. So yeah. we, it was yeah. There was always a lot of music and a lot of activities. So, yeah. So I, I'm curious now. Um, you were awarded a Virtuosi Young Artist Scholarship for voice. Um, you're also a past winner of the the Rose Bowl, the mm -hmm. the, the top prize uh, for vocal performance at the Winnipeg Music Festival back in in 2018. Um, do, do you find yourself singing more than playing these days? I, I would definitely say I, I um, focus more on, on singing, but um, from time to time there might be um, a gig or something where they, they need me to um, play the violin or, or piano, but, um, but it, I definitely do, um, I'm focused more on, on singing, but, um, but there are definitely times where um, for myself, just to keep my skills up, I'll I'll, mm -hmm. I'll um, take out the instrument and I'll and I'll practice and that. But um, yeah, so I would say mostly I I, I sing now. But um, I did an offer two years ago with Manitoba Underground where I I sang and played oh, at the wild. same time. So it, it was it was definitely a, a new experience for me. So that was um, that was kind of a nice combination of of the two kind of domains where I have worked a lot and so yeah it was really cool <laughs> well that's exactly what i was going to ask you is have you ever done both in performance or maybe yeah. three you know put down the violin <laughs> go take a seat at the keyboard and and, and play and sing or whatever yeah. happens to be um i would say probably not not the yeah. three together but definitely i have done the two together so there was um it was kind of a hybrid where there was the um instrumentalists were involved in the opera and it was staged with the in instrumentalists paired with a with a singer so i was paired with myself it was coronation of popea mm. so I played the character Audrey, of yeah, yeah, a, yeah of Amore and um and so I would play the violin and um and I would sing and there was one part where I had to sing and play at the same time which I thought would it be possible but it, it actually is but you <laughs> just have to maybe kind of position yourself in in a way that um is stable so <laughs> yeah wild uh, so I mean understandably it, it it'd be hard to keep up all three at the same time but uh, a couple of this um you're not. You're not actually studying um, music in, in, in school and in university. You're in a, a rather demanding school program in, in pharmacy at U of M, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. how do you go uh, about balancing music studies with, with school studies? Like, what, what is that challenge like? Um, well, I, I've been very fortunate. I'm, I'm very grateful to have the, the opportunity to do, to do both. Um, uh, I, I guess I, I kind of grew up doing, um, doing a lot of music, but then also um, being involved in school. So for me, that was... Um, it's not really um, such a such a new concept. Um, it's been something I've been doing for 
for a while and it's um it definitely does involve balancing but um but I really enjoy it and um it's it's something that I I'm you know it's it's it'd be easy not to do but for for me I like it so much that I you know you kind of find a way to make it work if if there's something that you really love doing so yeah it's just it's part yeah. of who you are right yeah. and just being busy and and making that mm-hmm. part of the routine and 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 making the time as they yeah. say right mm-hmm. it's a challenge but yeah. uh definitely something that's worth it in in mm-hmm. the end yeah. um so again props to you uh, this weekend you're opening for the Trio Saint Laurent um what what are you going to be performing uh so I'll be performing works by Schumann Robert Schumann uh, and it's from his Lieder Kreis cycle, Opus 39. Um, and so this is one that he wrote. Um, this cycle, there's 12 um, songs in it. So I'll be performing numbers one, which is in, in der Fremde, two intermezzo, and then the fifth one, Montnacht. Mm-hmm. So I'll be doing those three pieces. And you'll be performing with Lisa at the piano, yes, right? Yes, Lisa Rumpel. Yes, oh, that's, that's, that's fantastic. Um, yeah, she, she was just w- in the uh, she amazing. was just in the studio before the, the Christmas break, and um, oh, I mean, yeah. accompanies so many of, of, of the talented artists mm-hmm. here in the city. Yeah. Um, do, do you gravitate towards the music of Schumann, or, or is he just kind of where you're living right now? What 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 drew you to the Liederkreis? Um, I think I have gradually um, kind of shifted to Schumann. Um, you know, as a Singer, you, I did a lot more when I was younger. I did a lot more of the Sh- Schubert, Schubert um, yeah. but I think now I've been moving more towards Schumann um, as a kind of as an instrumentalist or as a pianist. Um, I did some of his works, um, played some of um, some of the his pieces, and so I I think I've always appreciated the the musics as um, from an instrumental level. Like I've always um, really loved. Um, I mean, he's he's a genius. It's like his his writing is just incredible. And um, so, but uh, as a singer, um, kind of now I'm I'm moving more into towards that repertoire, and um, and it's very interesting to to now go into that kind of with that background to it, but um, now more from a from a singing perspective. I mean, it, you're bringing such a, a broad knowledge to his vocal works, and for me, it was kind of the opposite way. I mean, I was I sang through the Faculty of Music at the U of M, and yeah. then now here we, mm-hmm. we 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 play more instrumental music yeah. um, than vocal music, and so mm-hmm. it's been a chance for me to discover it on the on the other side of things, yeah. Yeah. Um, which is just so so rewarding. And so to mm-hmm. bring your breadth of knowledge, um, really coming from both sides, it just it must make you such a, a well-rounded performer. Um, I hope to bring some of that forward. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's definitely I I think for me I'm always discovering new things, and mm-hmm. I think that's the exciting part is you're never done learning. There's always something new to, to discover and to um, to dig into, and um, yeah, there's just myriads of possibilities. Ain't that the truth? Mm-hmm. Uh, so the last thing I want to ask you, uh, Catherine, is um, uh, for you uh, this this latest nod as a virtuosi young artist. What 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 does it mean to you? Um, well, for me, it's like, exciting to, um, and it's it's a great privilege and, and honor to be part of this. Um, mainly to to share the music with our community, our our Winnipeg um, audience, um, and uh, it's just the audience here is very appreciative uh, of music, but they're also very knowledgeable, um, and and it's um, yeah, it's it's just such a, an honor and a privilege to to share that with them and. Um, for them to enjoy it, for them to experience it, um, and yeah, so that's that's what it means to me. Mm-hmm. I, I think they'll appreciate your sharing your gift this weekend. I think thanks for sharing your time uh, this morning here at Classic 107. Well, thank you so much for having me. Uh, you can see Catherine Maba performing opening for the Trio Saint Laurent this weekend at the Eckhart Gramite Hall. Uh, that's Saturday, 7:30 p.m. For more details, head to virtuosi.mb.ca or classic107.com.